Royal Enfield, the world's oldest and most traditional motorcycle brand in India, which is still producing motorcycles in India too. In addition to the classic motorcycles, the Royal Enfield manufactures adventure and off-road types of motorcycles. Though Royal Enfield originated in United Kingdom, the company is now world widely known as Indian motorcycle brand which is in its old tradition. Royal Enfield surpassed Harley Davidson which is one of the leading motorcycle brands. In 2014, in terms of scales of cult classic motorcycles, in the same year, Royal Enfield sold 3 lakh units of motorcycles compared to Harley Davidson which sold 2,68,000 motorcycles. George Townsend, a name that comes from beginning of the traditional history of Royal Enfield motorcycles. In the year 1851, George started a business in Redditch of England. Following this, in 1882, George's son began manufacturing various parts of bicycles in addition to saddle and forks. By the age of 18, the company began to sell ready-made bikes called Townsend and Ecosias. Later in the year 1892, Albert Edid and Bob Walker Smith re-established it as Eddy Manufacturing Company Limited. Meanwhile, in 1893, the company received a contract to supply firearms from the Royal Small Arm Factory. In 1896, a new subsidiary for bicycle manufacturing was established and bought bicycles under Royal Enfield branding. The Royal Enfield then introduced Made Like a Gun trademark in its brand. In 1896, Bob Walker Smith designed the company's first motorized vehicle. The vehicle, known as Quadric Cycle, was also built on two bicycle frames based on proprietary De Dion engine. The same year, the company was registered as the Enfield Cycle Company Limited. In 1990, Royal Enfield gradually moved to motorsport. In 1901, the company produced the first motorcycle designed by Bob Walter Smith and Julius Gautier. After Indian independence in 1949, Sundaram Iyer established Madras Motors, which aimed to import British motorcycles to India. At the same time, the government chose Royal Enfield bikes and gave a license to Madras Motors to sell the imported bikes. Following this, in 1952, the Indian Army ordered 800 units of Royal Enfield Bullet of 350cc from Madras Motors, which arrived in Madras from Redditch in 1953. In addition to this, Madras Motors India was marketing Royal Enfield motorcycles in the market, which was gaining the popularity among many and gradually increasing the demand in the market. In 1955, the Enfield Company, in joint venture with Madras Motors, established Enfield India to manufacture Royal Enfield motorcycles in India. As a result of this, the Tirwanvur factory near the city of Madras began its operation and in 1956, the factory began manufacturing the bullet model under its license. Initially, the bikes were assembled in India and by the end of 1956, a total of 168 Enfield bullet models had been manufactured at Madras Point. After the death of Frank Walker Smith, H.P. Smith's investors purchased Royal Enfield and sold it to Norton Wheelers in 1967. Norton Wheelers owns 33% of Enfield's India's asset. Until the closure of the factory in 1967, bicycles were produced in Redditch. That's the same year, Royal Enfield's spare parts operation was sold to Velocity. However, the production of the Interceptor model continued at Brantford's underground plant, but this plant was also shut down by June 1970. But the Madras plant was still active in its production and by 1978, Enfield India had begun exporting 350cc bullets to UK and Europe. With the development of bikes, the sales rate of bullets were also increased. In 1989, the company released the 500cc bullet which was available in three categories. Classic, Deluxe and Superstar trim. This is followed by the k Racer Continental GT which surpassed the previous engine's capacity to 535cc. Enfield Diesel for the first time in 1993 began mass manufacturing 325cc highly fuel efficient diesel bikes. Meanwhile, 
Vikram Lal, the founder of Ekhair Motors, had a strong interest in motorcycles. As a result, in 1994, commercial vehicle and tractor manufacturer, the Ekhair Group, acquired Enfield India and the company was renamed as Royal Enfield Motors Limited. Ekhair's motor has been using the Royal Enfield branding since from 1999. The Royal Enfield was also struggling in India in 90s. As a result, Vikram Lal's son, Siddharth Lal, who took over as CEO of Royal Enfield in the year 2000, had the same passion for the motorcycles as his father. Since the day of the takeover by Ikhar company, the newly branded Royal Enfield has not yet stepped back from any competition. The Royal Enfield has been introducing many bike models and went on to set its own trend in the world market. This is how a British motor company lost its origin and surrendered to Indian business dominance. टीवी विक्रमा नेशनल भारत भाग्य विदाता सब्सक्राइब टीवी विक्रमा नेशनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक बेल आइकॉन बटन एंड सेलेक्ट ऑल नोटिफिकेशन